All right, ladies and gents, it's time to talk a little bit more about the Wilbur Soot stuff because I've found out some new shit and I feel like I need to share it with y'all. Now, as you all know, I've been covering this subject for the better part of a week now. It's been a little bit since I made the last video on the subject, but I do want to talk about it today because I've personally discovered a bunch of stuff that has kind of changed my opinion a little bit, not completely, but a little bit. And of course, Quackity decided to remove Wilbur Soot from the QSMP. Now again, this is all Minecraft stuff, you know, getting a little cringe and gay. To be honest, I, I don't care if he's in an SMP or not. That doesn't matter to me. But what does matter to me is something that I recently discovered. Now, mind you, Shovel mentioned in her stream that Wilbur Soot's mom had even spoken to her about the biting habit and that it's something that he had been doing since he was a kid. At the time, it was something that I didn't really want to mention in any of my videos because it wasn't really corroborated with evidence. There wasn't a text message. There wasn't, I was just supposed to believe Shovel that this was something that happened, that Wilbur Soot's mom had a conversation with her about biting. Now, I think it's pretty indisputable that he does bite his significant others and apparently even potentially his friends but clips like this have really made me reconsider a couple of things tell them about how awful i am to you to me yeah he keeps biting me yeah are you just hovering while i'm streaming i can't hear you over the hoover what'd you say actually will uh will bites bites me sometimes what? and i get so many bruises all the time from him biting me <laughs> I thought you were saying that you bite people. No, it will bite me. Again, there's nothing inherently wrong with biting people for affection. And obviously, we've all come to the conclusion that this guy does bite a lot of people. Um, but she openly says that it leaves bruises at times. Broke me sometimes, what? and I get so many bruises all the time from him biting me. Now, mind you, this is an ex from before he dated Shovel. So obviously, if this is something that he's been dealing with since he was a kid, I'm not surprised that Shovel also experienced this. At this point, it's pretty obvious that Wilbur did bite Shovel and has bitten his previous girlfriends. He's even admitted so. My big issue was that the supposed bruising was never demonstrated by Shovel. There was no evidence, there was no proof, there was nothing. But now seeing an ex say the same thing and Wilbur not even react and kind of see it as, yeah, that's normal, that's just what happens. It does definitely recontextualize some things. I still think all of the people that were openly calling this person an abuser and basically screaming it from the rooftops on their stream. And yeah, I still think those people are freaks. I still think that to call Wilbur an abuser at this point is it's hard for me to do with, with basically no photo evidence. Like we don't know the extent to these bruises. We don't know if they're little, if they're big, if there's massive teeth marks, if she's literally bleeding, like to what extent we can call this abuse is really difficult. It does sound like that this person bruised their girlfriend a lot and that's really really weird and for the most part i'd like to say that that's abuse but then again there's things like hickeys that are completely normal forms of bruising that you know while quite juvenile to do um it's something that many people do do in their relationships i've never said that shovel was a liar that's a common theme in some of the comments of my previous videos and a lot of these people obviously do support shovel i've never said that she's a liar and i'm not going to say she's a liar and if you ever had the impression that i thought she was a liar let me make this clear I totally think that she definitely did receive some form of bruising from the bites that were inflicted by Wilbur Soot, okay? I think at this point, it's indisputable that something happened, all right? Like, we all agree on that, even including Wilbur's own even including Wilbur's own apology, right? That apology was not an admission of guilt. He clearly did not admit to being an abuser. But that being said, he did admit to biting her and he did admit to safe words even being involved, which is crazy because it never came across as a sexual thing. So for something that is non-sexual to require a safe word, kind of crazy. But yeah, I wanted to provide this update on the situation because I hadn't seen these clips before. And I think that these clips are really important to get out to the audience that saw my previous videos. Obviously, it may seem like I'm defending Wilbur Soot. I think that it only seems that way because everybody else is so vehemently against him. Everybody else has made up their mind that he's an abuser. And listen, I'll just be honest. Even with a lack of photo evidence at the moment, it's not looking entirely good for him. But again, remember these words. 
innocent until proven guilty and we need to see evidence until then i just don't feel comfortable calling him an abuser but yeah with all that being said be nice in the comments don't really say anything negative about shovel i feel like at this point the situation is too murky to do anything in an ideal world we would have all of the photo evidence possible but obviously that's not the case at this point i really don't think that it's gonna come out like i just i don't feel that that's something that shovel seems willing to release at this point and that's totally fine it's a bit disappointing just because this person has labeled their ex as an abuser alongside a, a bunch of other people in the minecraft community but with all that being said hopefully the next response will release releases uh bring some light to all of the questions we have but yeah with all that being said that's it for today's video. I, I really don't want to cover this subject again. Something massive has to come out before I'm really going to cover the subject again. It's really, it's kind of one of those things where it's dead. Like, not dead in the way that it won't get views. Obviously, people are still getting views off of it, but dead in a way that there's no more evidence. There's no more information for me to digest and then, you know, give my take on. And unless that changes, and obviously Wilbur Soot can change that, um, I just don't feel comfortable, you know, regurgitating my opinion. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will be back with another one.